The Wheat School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by CNMC, Syngenta Canada, and the Alberta Wheat Commission. Peter Johnson at Wheat realagriculture.com, and we're back with another Wheat School. I couldn't be more excited. The Yen Program. Yield Enhancement Network, the first time ever we ran it, 2021, and supported by Grain Farmers of Ontario, University of Guelph, and the Ministry of Agriculture Food here in Ontario. We also have Michigan involved with us. In 2022, we've been so successful that we have growers in Kentucky that have joined the Great Lakes Yen Group. That's just incredibly excited exciting rather and i couldn't be happier today we have with us the gold place the first place winner for the 2021 winter wheat yen the record at 152.8 bushels per acre welcome kevin van natten a consulting agronomist with south coast agronomy kevin very cool stuff attention to detail tell me how you do that well, thanks, Peter. It's always nice being able to talk uh, crops with people and especially wheat with that wheat peat. So this is uh, definitely a great, uh, good day for sure. So yeah, we definitely paid a lot of attention to detail with the wheat. Uh, it was great collaborating with, with so many individuals on, on the crop, but it takes many people to make a successful crop. So um, right, from, right from planting, we, we planted it a little bit late this year or this past year at uh, Mar- um October the 10th, and normally we'd like to be planting up September 25th or 20th if, if, if need be. But since it was a late planting, we, we upped their seeding rate to, to 1.72 million seeds per acre. And uh, the crop came up real nice. It was a beautiful looking wheat stand going into winter. Um, luckily in 2021, spring kind of broke early and we had a nice early go. So we were able to, uh, to put red clover underneath actually on, on March the 6th. So we were, uh, it was under seed with eight pounds of red clover on March the 6th. And then um, we, we put our first shot of nitrogen on really early too for us, which was, was March the 18th. And usually we're not, we're not going that early. So because we were going early, I decided to, to put in a, a nitrogen stabilizer. So at that point in time, I put in some Excellus Max in with the 24 gallons of, of 28% um, nitrogen. So again, spring weather was good, and then we put another shot of of 28 on in in April, uh, another 30 gallons. Wheat was looking a little bit pale, so we we added some sulfur. Um, In the meantime, in order to to really highlight the the wheat stand, um, I had the Pioneer Agronomist come out with the drone, drone, and we did uh, a drone deploy flight over the wheat to help identify, you know, where the where the good wheat was and where the bad wheat was and, and to help identify some variability within the within the farm and that that was really really good and the neat thing after that was we were able to follow that up with with granular's um, vegetative index so we were getting um, satellite imagery on on the vegetative growth of, uh, of the wheat crop the whole the whole entire crop so that that was really neat seeing how how that changed throughout the, the growing season. Um, normally we'd put a herbicide in with our, our first shot of, of fungicide, but because in mid to eight, late April, we were, we were getting some cold nights, um, I, I was a little bit scared with, the, with putting all that stuff in the, in the tank together. So uh, left the buck drill out and we just went in with the fungicide and I added about, um, I use Seraphit as my, as my fungicide. And um, I also added um, Ferdiactyl, um, Ferdiactyl GZ actually, um, into the mix with the Modus. So we, we went in with a, a three-way tank mix with, with that at tillering to, to try to stimulate some, some extra plant, some extra plant growth and, and plant health. So that, that worked out quite well. And then uh, as we approached uh, flag leaf, we, we seen that we had a pretty good crop. So um, looked at the fungicides again, and I put on head, headline amp at, uh, at flag leaf. And at that point in time, I, I added uh, another biostimulant for the uh, fertilizer gold. 
um, again, to stimulate some more, some more plant health and, and plant growth. And uh, yeah, it, it all seemed to work out quite well. And then uh, at Heading, we, uh, we hit the crop with uh, Moravis Ace. And um, yeah, everything just kind of came together quite nicely. June, we had real good rainfall. We had excellent plant health through the whole growing season and uh, definitely produced a, a great, great crop. Yeah. So, and in the, in your imagery data, I, I wish we had more time because I see this yellow line going down the middle of the field and I'm saying, what's going on in that part of the field, right? We got to get out there and, and fix that. And really amazing that, that even with a late planting date, you were able to achieve the highest yield of any anyone in the yen program that's phenomenal from my standpoint and certainly the the increased seeding rate would help but the attention to detail the three fungicides for sure the biostimulants maybe bringing some more on but you mentioned june rainfall and when we look at your june weather data and and the health of that crop it really seems like this green through grain fill and the, the photosynthetic power, the, the biomass that you had there, the size of the flag leaves, that's, that's really driving that big, big yield. So can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, absolutely. So the field is it's my home farm, so it does get a little extra attention to, to detail. The, the fertility levels are, are, quite, are quite good and the rotation is, is good as well. So uh, the farm has a history of producing fairly high yields um, in comparison to some of the other, some of our other farms, of course. So um, we also, I also added 180 pounds of map in my starter with, went with down with the seed. So the, that rate is a little bit higher, but I use that as an opportunity to beef up my, my phosphorus levels and my soil test and the, the, grain samples showed adequate phosphorus in my in my crop. So that was that's pretty key in, in growing wheat, I think, is that that high phosphorus for sure. Yeah. And it really showed because we've got like a five inch long head or close to it. Your heads were were incredibly big. We've got unbelievable head numbers, eleven hundred and twenty two, I think, per square meter. And then the flag leaf is a foot long and you know five eighths or three quarters of an inch wide. So when you think about big biomass making a big crop that, that you really drove it there. And, and you mentioned that at harvest, those, those plants were still green, right, Kevin? Yeah, absolutely. I know in, in the corn world, we always talk about never letting your corn have a bad day, letting your crop have a bad day. And I think we don't give our wheat crop enough of that as well. And uh, we definitely saw that this year with our wheat crop, that this crop did not have a bad day and we had enough, we had enough rainfall to mineralize our, our in-soil fertility. The roots were, were excellent. Definitely our plant health was good. All the sampling that, um, that was done through the yen um, with Honeyland uh, labs, the, the test results were awesome. It, uh, it just showed that I didn't need to add any extra um, micros or anything else to the package. And, and the information that was given through the yen and through the, the their analysis was was top notch for sure. Yeah, so there you have it. A, a really great package that you put together, Kevin. And Mother Nature smiled. Five inches, almost five inches of rain through June, and you, you never, never a bad day. So it's that attention to detail and having the right weather, keeping that crop green through grain fill, so it could utilize the sunshine and the moisture and have plant health there all the way through to harvest and and what a success story 152.8 bushels per acre that's absolutely phenomenal so there you have it folks an awesome wheat grower congratulations kevin gold for the first ever yen in ontario peter johnson at wheat pete real agriculture got.com pay attention to the yen we are learning cool stuff and grow great wheat